Good morning students. Welcome back to chemistry classroom once again. Today I will start the last chapter carbon. So look at your book. Present in every living being, carbon is a very important element. It has a many uses. The food we eat has compound of carbon. Coal and hydrocarbons are widely used as fuels. So carbon compounds are also used in medicines. The clothes we wear have a compounds of carbon. So in the form of a diamond, carbon is used as a gemstone. So in various aspect, carbon is a very plays a very important role. In the form of graphite, carbon finds the wide application in the industry. And you will learn in higher classes that in the form of carbon nanotubes, it plays a great role in the nanotechnology. In one form or in one form or the other, carbon forms a significant part of the mineral world. First occurrence. In the free or in the combined state, carbon is widely distributed on earth. So, or either free state or combined state, carbon is distributed widely on the earth surface. In the free state, carbon exists in the free state in coal, diamond and graphite. So, you have to learn carbon is only exist in free state. Coal, diamond and graphite. So, these are the examples where carbon exists in free state. Coal. Coal is a decomposition product of plants buried millions of years ago due to the some natural phenomena. Plants contain carbon compounds and their buried remains were slowly converted into carbon. So, after a long buriedness of carbon compound that turn into coal. The conversion of a carbon compound into carbon is called carbonization. Isko yaad karna hai. So, it is the process by which carbon compound turn into carbon is called carbonization. Diamond and graphite. Diamond and graphite are the crystalline forms of carbon found in nature. So, basically diamond and graphite are the example of crystalline form of carbon. Graphite is more abundant than diamond. So, graphite is more milta than diamond. Ki se. In the combined state, carbon is widely distributed in the combined state. Carbon dioxide. Air contains about 0.03% carbon dioxide. Living organism. All living organism, plants and animals have carbon compounds. Hence, Everything we eat which is derived from plants and animals contains carbon compound also. So, which kind of food we intake? They also consist of carbon compounds. The essential ingredients of food, carbohydrates, proteins, fat, vitamins are compounds of carbon. Next, minerals. All carbonate minerals contain carbon. For example, limestone, calcite and marble are calcium carbonate and dolomite is a mixed carbonate of magnesium and calcium. So, as a form of minerals, carbon compound is basically available in our surface like calcium carbonate and dolomite, magnesium carbonate, etc. Natural gas and petroleum. This portion is very important. Natural gas and petroleum contain mainly hydrocarbons. So, here as it is a form of carbon, it is also known as hydrocarbon. So, natural gas and petroleum both contain hydrocarbons, compound which have only carbon and hydrogen. So, it is a combination form of carbon and hydrogen. Natural gas is mostly methane. And petroleum is mixture of various hydrocarbons containing a large number of carbon atoms. So, here is a long chart. Inorganic compounds. These are the inorganic compounds. Formula, name and formula. 
Swear is the long chart of inorganic compounds. Again, organic compounds. And student, you have to learn the chemical name as well as their formula also. So, as a combination form, carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, sodium carbonate, sodium hydrogen carbonate, or sodium bicarbonate, calcium carbonate, magnesium carbonate, zinc carbonate, copper carbonate, etc. So, these are the combination state of carbon. Same way, organic compounds make up hydrocarbons, whereas it is a mixture of carbon dioxide and hydrogen only. Methane, butane, C4H10, acetylene, C2H2. These are very important. And student, you have to learn both carefully. Both, achche se yaad karna. Benzene, C6H6, alcohol, methyl alcohol. Actually, alcohol are two types, methyl alcohol and ethyl alcohol. And look at the molecular formula, CH3OH. Uh, C2H5OH. Here is the number of carbon only 1 and 2. Again, number of hydrogen is 3 and 5. So, number of atoms are different from each alcohol. Methyl alcohol CH3OH or ethyl alcohol C2H5OH. Next, sugar. Glucose C6H12O6. Sucrose C12H22O11. Acids, acetic acid. C2H4OH or CH3OH. Oxalic acid H2C2O4. Citric acid C6H8O7. Tartaric acid and ascorbic acid. These are the organic substances which contain carbon. Next, common compounds which have carbon. Compounds containing carbon are two types organic and inorganic all carbon containing compounds except carbon monoxide carbon dioxide carbonates and hydrogen carbonates are called organic compound so basically which kind of chemical substance except carbon monoxide carbon dioxide carbonates and hydrogen carbonates are contain carbon in their molecular formula, these are organic compounds. And all non-carbon compounds along with carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, carbonates and hydrogen carbonates are called inorganic compounds. So normally except example ko chhod kar, sif jo chemical substance contain carbon inside their molecular formula, these are organic and inorganic compounds. Next, allotropy. Before we take up allotropy, let us learn about crystalline and amorphous solids. So, crystalline and amorphous solid. Solids are divided into two classes. Crystalline or true solid and amorphous or pseudo solids. So, crystalline means that is true solid and amorphous means that is pseudo solid. Pseudo means false. Actually, jo solid hai nahi. That is pseudo solids or amorphous form of carbon. So, it is a long chart. Crystalline solids and amorphous solid or pseudo solids. So, solids which have definite geometrical forms are called crystalline or true solid. So, which kind of solids possess definite geometrical shape? They are called crystalline solids. Same way. Which do not have a definite geometrical form, they are called amorphous solid or pseudo solids. Next, crystalline solid example rock salt and common salt. Same way, the example of amorphous solid is gas carbon, peach, plastics, etc. So, student, you have to learn this example very carefully. And the basic difference between crystalline solids and amorphous solids is these kind of solids have proper geometrical form, and in case of amorphous solid, they have no proper. <coughs> geometrical form next characteristic of crystalline solid the particles constituting a crystalline solid are arranged in an order mirrored in the three dimension figure same way characteristic of amorphous solid the particles constituting an amorphous solid are 
not arranged in an order of manner. So basically, in case of crystalline form, they have the particles basically arranged in a proper order. But in case of amorphous solid, the particles are not arranged in proper order. Same way, when crystalline solids are broken or cut with the sharp knife, we get pieces with sharp edges and plain faces. So this point is very important. जब हम लोग crystalline solid को काटेंगे या तोड़ेंगे, easily we can get the sharp edges of the particular solid. But when amorphous solids are broken or cut with the sharp knife, we get pieces with the carved faces. जब हम लोग amorphous solid को छुड़ी से काटेंगे, normally हम लोग पाएंगे क्या carved faces of the particular solid. Next, what is allotropy? The phenomenon of some elements existing in different forms is called allotropy. So it is the kind of incident whereas some element existed in different form. This incident is also known as allotropy. The term allotropy has been derived from the Greek word allos. This command matlab kya hai? Other. And trops mean form. So, which kind of chemical substance shows different forms? These are follow allotropy. The different forms of element. So, allotropes of carbon. These are available into two states. Crystalline and amorphous. Again, crystalline are four types. Diamond, graphite, fullerenes and carbon nanotubes. Amorphous are available into four types charcoals lamp black coke and gas carbon again charcoal are divided into three wood charcoal bone charcoal and sugar charcoal so these are the basically allotroph of carbon so student i hope all of you understood what i have discussed in this video so for today up to this portion